at the end of this module you will be able to understand the process of aerobic and anaerobic respiration in humans differentiate between the aerobic and anaerobic respiration define fermentation prove that anaerobic respiration takes place in the yeast explain the process of evolution of respiratory system in the living organisms children people like athletes exercise a lot they need a lot of energy how do they fulfill their energy requirements let us try to understand if the body needs more oxygen like in the case of the athletes the muscle cells can also respire anaerobically when they are short of oxygen if muscles are overworked aerobic respiration cannot fulfill all their oxygen requirements this happens when a person does vigorous exercise like he runs a race or lifts heavy weights this time the glucose is broken down into a substance called lactic acid glucose lactic acid plus some energy the chemical equation is c6h12o6 gives 2c3h6o3 plus 2 atp as the anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen incomplete oxidation of food occurs and much less energy is released anaerobic respiration provides enough energy to keep the overworked muscles going for a short period but if a person does continuous rigorous exercise lactic acid starts building up in the blood stream producing muscle cramps it is dangerous for the health if we measure the lactic acid levels in a person who is standing and after he has run a race it would be much higher in the second case this proves that lactic acid is built up during anaerobic respiration children you must always take some rest after strenuous exercise in order to oxidize the lactic acid fully this uses oxygen the volume of oxygen needed to completely oxidize the lactic acid that builds up in the body during anaerobic respiration is called the oxygen debt let us now differentiate between the aerobic and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration it occurs in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration it occurs in the absence of oxygen aerobic respiration respiratory substance glucose is completely oxidized anaerobic respiration partially oxidized aerobic respiration products are carbon dioxide water and 36 atps anaerobic respiration products are ethyl alcohol lactic acid carbon dioxide 2 atps aerobic respiration energy is released in large quantities anaerobic respiration lesser quantity of energy aerobic respiration cytoplasm and mitochondria are the sites of breakdown anaerobic respiration only cytoplasm is the site of breakdown Now let us learn something about one interesting type of anaerobic respiration fermentation Fermentation is an energy releasing process that takes place in the absence of oxygen Fermentation results in the breakdown of carbohydrates and other complex organic substances into simpler substances C6H12O6 glucose gives 2 CH3 CH2OH ethanol plus 2 CO2 carbon dioxide certain organisms perform fermentation to obtain the energy they need to carry on their life processes various microorganisms including yeasts and certain molds and bacteria obtain their energy through fermentation the bhaturas and dosas that are made at home are also a product of fermentation If we leave the dosa or bhatura dough in open for some time a characteristic smell starts coming out this smell is of ethanol many of the fermentation processes result in products that are important in medicine 
food preparation like in baking and many other fields. Antibiotics are obtained from both bacterial and mold fermentation. Vinegar and cheese are products of bacterial fermentation. Let us now do an interesting experiment to prove that anaerobic respiration takes place in the yeast. Boil water for 15 minutes to remove all the dissolved oxygen. Almost fill two flasks with the water. Allow them to cool to 25 degrees Celsius in the sealed flasks, sealed to prevent reoxygenation. Dissolve glucose in each flask. Add live yeast to one, the experiment, no yeast in the other, the control. Insert a thin glass tube from each stoppered flask into a test tube of lime water. You would notice that there would be no change in flask or lime water in the control setup. While in the other experimental setup, the gas emitted turned the lime water in the test tube milky. The gas is therefore carbon dioxide, CO2. Now let us learn how the process of respiration evolved in the living organisms. The first cells, which evolved about 3.8 billion years ago, needed carbon dioxide to live and not oxygen. They were able to get the carbon dioxide they needed from the oceans they lived in. By about 2 billion years ago, some eukaryotic cells had evolved that needed oxygen to live. Oxygen gave them more energy. Mitochondria developed in the cells to break down oxygen for them. The first multicellular animals like hydras that lived in the oceans were only two cells thick. So all of the cells could still get oxygen molecules from the water around them and get rid of the carbon dioxide molecules the same way. The first animals that were thicker than that like earthworms needed some way to get oxygen to the inside cells that were not in contact with water. It was during this time that the fish developed gills that could take in more oxygen more efficiently and supported the cells that were not in direct contact with the water. Then it is said that about 400 million years ago, with a lot of land in one supercontinent called Gondwana, some fish got stuck in smaller ponds and died out, but some of them evolved to use their lungs for breathing. These fish were known as the lung fish. When frogs left the water and began to spend more time on land, about 375 million years ago, they used only their lungs and lost their gills. But a frog's respiratory system is not very efficient. Frogs absorb oxygen through their wet skins, which forces them to live near water. Later, reptiles like dinosaurs evolved a better double circulatory system where the heart was partly divided in two to keep the blood with oxygen separate from the blood without oxygen. Now there was no need of breathing through their skins, so they didn't need to stay near the water anymore. Insects like grasshopper developed a tracheal respiratory system through which the air could directly reach the cells. Then around 150 million years ago, birds evolved a very efficient respiratory system which kept the blood with oxygen separate from the blood without oxygen. Mammals that evolved from the reptiles also did the same thing. It is interesting to note that all birds and mammals have essentially the same respiratory system. This is a more efficient system that allows you to process more oxygen faster. So, you can run faster and think better and be more active. By the end of this module, you have learnt about the process of aerobic and anaerobic respiration in humans, difference between the aerobic and anaerobic respiration, fermentation, to prove that anaerobic respiration takes place in the yeast, 
the process of evolution of respiratory system in the living organisms.